Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have the distinct honor of introducing our next reader, Ms. Yvonne Hoyt, who is a student of ours at Literacy Partners. But before I turn the microphone over to Yvonne, I want to share a couple of thoughts about what it might mean to us if we couldn't read. Now, I don't have to convince anyone in this room of the importance of reading. It's how we learn about the world. It's how we transcend it for something different, some potential. Reading can be deeply spiritual, intensely personal and private. Yet, it brings us all together in shared experience and for common cause. I couldn't imagine a day without reading. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't read. Being able to read is like being given a set of keys that unlock the doors to so many things, many things we take for granted, like our health. Did you know that people with limited literacy skills generally have worse health than people who got a good education? It's true. They don't go to the city's prestigious medical centers, and when they get a disease, they tend to get the diagnosis at a later stage when there is less that we can do to help them. Reading prescription labels, discharge instructions, and just following the doctor's instructions can be overwhelming challenges when you can't read well. And the result is that people with low literacy get less effective medical treatment. And ultimately, according to the research studies, they die younger than people with a good education. This is a terrible and shocking price to pay for being born in the wrong school district or being born into a family that doesn't have the privilege like the one that I grew up in or being born to parents who never got a hand with their obvious struggles. But that doesn't have to be the end of the story. We can change the ending to this story <laughs> We can break this cycle. We can make a decision to say enough is enough. We will not let this continue, not in our city, not on our watch. By raising your hand tonight and joining the fight, you can turn things around for thousands of our fellow New Yorkers. With your help, literacy partners can double our impact over the course of the next year and speed up our progress on the mission to end illiteracy. We can do this. Together, we can do this. And our results will not be measured just in the number of students served and the diplomas earned, but they will be measured by the human spirit, the resiliency of the human spirit, and of lives transformed. And with that, it's my great honor to introduce you to Yvonne Hoyt. Thanks, Mike.